<laughs> it was, yeah, it was a pretty horrendous day. Uh, we didn't expect it to be as bad as it was, did we, Phil? No. And uh, it just came through so fast, the fire. All the bottom of my house was burnt. Um, I lost my tractor, hay wagons and stuff like that. And, yeah. During that time, there was, well, nobody came up the driveway, even for nearly two weeks after the fire, and said, are you OK? Nobody. I think the first few months were the worst. You look out and it was just black everywhere and, and quiet. And yeah, it was pretty ordinary. Still sort of brings back memories. There's still a lot of wounds there. Like a lot of people are still waiting for permits for their houses. Some people are uh, halfway through their builds, which would know, be a relief when they're into their homes, I suppose. And my food bank su supplied us food, uh, toilet rolls and just about anything like that was there. Um, it was good, we got some stuff and um, it kept us going for quite a while, you know, like um, what we got on that day. And I think it was supposed to come back, but then that COVID thing started and so that sort of fell all in a heap. So I think it, the food bank, it's an amazing thing, an amazing setup. It's, the, the, it's sort of like um, there for people that need it, you know. It's a great source of food, you know, like, that bit of that you didn't have to go shopping for that food was a great relief because that money what you would have spent on that can go on other things. It made so, it easier, didn't it? Yeah, it was great, and it, and it, and it sort of gave you a really good feeling that someone wanted to help you. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Food Bank. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> Food Bank. Yeah.